Hello everybody and welcome to my top 10 tractors challenge video set out by the shaming man who is a very good friend of mine and we run a group on Facebook called Farming Simulator YouTube Community and it's basically a group that we've put together or we invite people to come and join who have small YouTube channels and are looking to start YouTube channels and um, we're, we're, we're all like a community and we're all there to help and and give each other a kick up the butt when we're feeling down or not into it uh, and the shaming man came up with this challenge to show off the top 10 tractors everybody's top 10 tractors so this is mine it's a bit late everybody else has already done theirs and everything else but um, I'm Seaburr and I like to leave things to the last minute I guess I don't know so anyway these are my top 10 so we will start from right to left and uh, basically I I've chosen I've not chosen tractors that I necessarily think are great in the essence of being in the game I've chosen tractors that are great to me um, from childhood and from life experiences uh, and they all they all have a part in everything I do in in the game but uh, there, there's there's stories behind them so first of all we'll start with the 10354 Renault um, you may recognize it from the down on the farm series and it is Pierre's tractor and the background story to this is back in, when I was a kid in the village where I was growing up all of the farms ran Fords basically Fords and the odd John Deere here and there maybe a Massey uh, and there was this one contractor that had one of these and it was just it was like a breath of fresh air to see it it was so unusual to see you never saw them anywhere else and he had one of these and whenever you saw it, I, it 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 was for its for its time it was a massive tractor it's got this really tall cab on it and it's just huge it's huge for the day that it came out but yeah this it's it's kind of got a double meaning for me one it's the tractor i use for pierre and two from my childhood so on to the next one which is also a uh, Renault and it's the Nectra and the first time I saw one of these these were unusual because of the color it's, it's not unusual because of the tractor we've got the orange one sat right there but the color and the first time I ever saw one in this color was when I was at the Great Dorset Steam Fair and there was one of these there and they were using it to tow the water bowser around to fill out the steam engines and I saw it and I was in absolute awe I just couldn't I couldn't take my eyes off of it it was an amazing looking tractor so that's that's the story of that one uh, the next one is the Deutz Fahr this is the Agrostar Special and this has got the drop nose on it designed specifically for loader work uh, by Deutz and the story behind this is I'd never heard of Deutz far when I was a youngster never heard of them and I think it was for my birthday I got given a Britain's farm toy tractor and it was this never seen it before and it was fantastic I love that little tractor and I played with it it was part of my team so that's why that's in there good memories next up international 
So this is the 1055 XL and this has got many many reasons. One, it's an international. I am a massive, massive international fan. And then consequently I have to be a case fan because they had the case buyout and all that palaver. But this one is the one that John uses in the Down on the Farm series. And this one is fully loaded so it's got all the wheel weights and everything on it and the one that John had had the had the loader and everything on the front but it's the same tractor. Uh, so this is this has got meaning because it's John's tractor from Down on the Farm, my series. So that's why that is here. This one the Case 5150 Maxim. My dad had a 5140 and uh, I drove it several times when I was a teenager and I absolutely loved it and I can I can honestly say that it's probably number two number two favorite tractor ever uh, absolutely phenomenal piece of kit I've recently this year driven a New Holland T7 over harvest and I can I can honestly say that the 5140 that my dad had was a hundred times more comfortable than the T7 so there we have it fantastic tractor and that is why that's here Ford 7810 now like I was saying with uh, the Renault the orange Renault down at the beginning there everyone around us ran Fords and this was what they had the 76 and the 78 tens four wheel drives with the Q cab with the air conditioning and everything and it's just an iconic tractor to me it's one of it's one of Ford's icons for me I know a lot of people like the the 8630s and those ones and the TWs but for me 7810 right on the button so next up these right these ones are game because I've not I've not I have the pleasure of driving any of these but uh, these are my go-to tractors when I am playing the game in my private games and the reason I don't play them in any of my let's plays is because I don't want to be biased when I'm playing let's plays and um, but in my private games these are the go-to's so we've got the Maxim the 145 it's in the deep red metallic uh, it always will be if the options there it will always be that we've also got the Puma 175 again in the deep red metallic uh, and you know these these three tractors here's the Optum the 300 CVX They're, they are do anything tractors you can ask them to do whatever you want and they will do it no problem at all and they're just awesome awesome tractors so that's why they are here it always will be case it's getting caught up by Deutz but case winners for me so finally of my top 10 lineup the Merlot and because this is it's, the challenge is more around the mods and things the Merlot is in here because in my personal opinion the Merlot is without doubt one of the best mods I have ever used in Farming Simulator when it was in 17 it was one of the best and apart from its little problem it has with follow me at the moment and hopefully that's going to get rectified soon with an update it's still the best it's still the best mod I've ever used in Farming Simulator and that is why it's here I don't particularly like Merlots although they do look pretty cool with their greens and you can have them in well I think you can have them in a choice of colours to be fair in real life um, but yeah, you know, this I haven't got all the the gubbins on the back. You can have the three point hitch with PTO and all that palaver. 
But yes, the Merlot, best mod ever. He should have won awards and I don't know what else. So, that is my top 10. But, my number one all time favourite tractor ever That was a very long time to get round to that, wasn't it? It's the International 1455XL. And note, it's the International, not the case. This was pre-case. This was all International. Um, and the, the story is, and I say it to everyone, the story is International, without doubt, were the best company that could make a tractor and when case came along and the the the, uh, the combination of the two case as a company knew how to do business and international as a company knew how to make tractors and the two of them together have produced some phenomenal tractors I won't look at these because they are the CNH and that's a completely different story but that is Case International Harvester and that is an International Harvester <laughs> uh, so yeah it's, uh, it's a but it's a it's a blinding mod anyway the mod is fantastic anyway but yeah, I've I've uh, I've cheated a little bit and I've got eleven, but I don't care because that's how it is. So there we have it. My top ten point one tractors. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe and may the weather be with you.